Welcome to the Cross Border Interviews. I'm your host, Christopher Brown. In April, we ventured to Regina, Saskatchewan for the 2024 Saskatchewan Urban Municipalities Convention. Though this episode may be shorter than our traditional episodes, its significance remains undiminished. So we'll be right back after a quick message with Cross Border Interviews featuring Mayor Daniel Powder from the northern hamlet of Stony Rapids. <laughs> Are you passionate about local governance and municipal issues? Do you believe in the power of community-driven conversations? Then join us at the Cross Border Network, where we bring together voices from across Canada to shine a spotlight on the challenges and the triumphs of our municipalities. But we need your support to keep the conversation going. Visit crossborderinterviews.ca today to show your support by backing the show monthly or making a one-time annual donation. Your contribution will help us grow and expand our reach, bringing important stories to even more listeners across the nation. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can amplify the voices of local communities. Together, we can shape a brighter future for all. Cross Border Network, where local matters and your support counts. Visit us today at crossborderinterviews.ca. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> Daniel, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. I want to start by asking a simple question. Where did your sense of duty to serve your community come from? Uh, my sense of duty came from uh, my, my intentions of uh, making, uh, fighting for the people, uh, especially for the young people to, to get a better tomorrow. As in uh, job-wise, education, and all that other stuff for goods. So you, you're you you've decided the best way to give back and help people is municipal politics. Was there a reason behind getting involved municipally? Because you could have volunteered, you could have gone through uh, provincial politics or federal, but you're the mayor of your community. What was it about the municipal realm that decided you wanted to be there? I think that the, one of the main reasons why I did that was be a municipal leader was because um, I figured that uh, the community needed more than just uh, like uh, walk, doing walks and whatnot, but I think it's more of uh, fighting for what they should have in their communities. And do you feel like you're doing that now? I feel like I'm getting very, very frustrated because a lot of things that uh, don't happen I have to really fight for. Like what, do you mind me asking? Uh, like I, I want to, the, the, the things I'm after is education, recreation, housing, uh, infrastructure, um, health, as in, uh, as in uh, professional, professional people to come to, to our communities more often. So you talk about healthcare, you talk about education, you talk about mental health, you talk about even uh, infrastructure. Those are traditionally, and I say traditional in the sense that uh, they are provincial responsibilities, education yes. and healthcare. But more and more municipalities like your Hamlet are dealing with those individual issues in their community. I'm going to ask the political question here, okay. if you don't mind. How are you faring with this ish, the, 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 I don't want to say success, but how are you faring with dealing with the issues that are not traditionally in the municipal jurisdiction? Um, one of the, it's, it's more or less like it gets me uh, like a more to push forward and, to, and to, to try to make the things happen for our community. Okay. So before, we, I want to talk about some of the more issues, but before I do, and I want to just preface this a little bit, this is a conversation between the mayor and myself. This is not a motion of council, not a direction of council, not even a policy. This is the mayor's opinion. In your opinion, what do you see as the biggest challenge today? The, the biggest challenge for me today is uh, the housing and the education and the cost of living. Okay. The cost of living is really high. Education is uh, low. And our kids have to go south to, to, to uh, get their grade, grade 11, 10, 11, and 12 and go on to university. So all those things are 
should be taken care of because I think that um, there's a lot of uh, things happening in within uh, the mining sector of Stony Rapids and stuff like that, and I think that we, they should be obligated to help us. Do you feel like you're being heard? Uh, on the, so on, on, <coughs> on all the issues in general, do you feel like... Because municipalities can yell and scream into the void until the province or the federal government steps up. Nothing is going to change unless the municipality takes on those responsibilities. You're here at SUMA right now. Do you feel like your community is being heard on the provincial scale? Uh, on the provincial scale, well, you know, today I heard that, uh, you know, uh, you're in city, Stony Rapids, uh, and uh, Fond du Lac and Pike Lake all uh, originate in Lake Athabasca region. So it's kind of mentioned those things, but you know, as, as we, they should have said that we, um, we should, uh, how should I say that now? Um, we should get more from the government than the federal point of view, I think. Okay. Yeah. So they should give you more money, the federal government, yeah, rather than the, the provincial the, government. Yeah, so we can meet uh, these initiatives that we're facing. Understandable. Do you get a sense in your community that people understand the challenges that your community is facing? Uh, th to me, I think that a lot of uh, our people in within uh, Stony Rapids uh, really uh, think that they deserve more in our community and, you know, especially with the uh, recreation, education, and housing in that, you know, that I think those are one of the biggest challenges that we face. So I think that, you know, the government should step up to the plate and try to make things a lot better for us. So you talk about recreation. What are you exactly talking about? Like, are they looking for more baseball diamonds? Are they looking for more things to do? <clears throat> Is there a certain thing? If, if there was a magic wand and you could wave it tomorrow to deal with the recreation issue, what would it be? I, I would, uh, you know, have uh, recreation facilities. And, uh, you know, uh, when, once we have that, at least uh, the kids will have something to do in the wintertime. And then in the summer, we'll have uh, baseball diamonds uh, ready to go and, uh, and a good recreation leader. So I want to turn to my last segment because I want to talk about your community a little bit. But I want to ask about the, because we talked about the challenges. What are you proud about of your community? What I'm proud about is that, you know, uh, our, our community is uh, situated on the east end of uh, Lake Athabasca. And we can could do our, our hunting, our fishing, and our recreation is, as in skidooing and whatnot. And in the summertime, we can go boating and whatever. That's, that's some of the reasons why I'm proud of Stony Rapids. Do you get a sense that you're a community? Like, because the community is one that's tight-knit, that's close, that will all help out their fellow neighbors. Do you find that's the case in Stony, Plain? Stony Rapids? Sorry? Yes, I try to... Um, I try to uh, to come as a one big community because we're the hub of the north, yep. and uh, you know, to me, I feel that you know everybody should pitch in, or the surrounding company, uh, communities should pitch in and help us out and trying to make things better for our community because we're. I think if it comes right down to it, we're ninety percent Aboriginal. In our communities, with with uh, mixed 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 uh, people as well. And I don't know how to properly ask this question, so please take a note. Please don't take offense when I ask this question. Uh, Ninety percent like Dene or well, the Dene speaking <coughs> language, or uh, is there different languages that are spoken? Uh, I would say what ninety percent Dene speaking. Yeah. So, so you, I'm assuming you speak Dene as well. Right? Uh, no, I myself is uh, I'm Cree. Okay. Yeah, but so, I, I lived in the north all my life. I've been around Denny people all my life, and my wife is Denny, and, and so I feel part of the part of the the, the north and the community. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask this question, and uh, and I I feel like I'm I've tried to learning on this show, and I'm trying to learn different uh, the different cultures in our in our great confederation of Canada. Um, I'm going to ask this question, and you can answer it in any language you wish. 
Uh, but if you do answer in a different language, I'd like if you can, uh, just respond as well in English. But what makes Stony Rapids such a unique place to live, work, and raise a family? Well, to me, to, uh, to raise a family in Stony Rapids is because, to me, everybody pitches in to try to help to make things better for our kids. And especially for, for the school part, you know, um, there's a lot of the things that we have to fight for, but, you know, our school is something that really keeps all the children going and making things happen. And uh, best of all is uh, I feel that uh, our community is clean and it's well to live in, raise a family. Uh, it's, there's uh, mining companies around, are surrounded by us, but uh, we work there and we got a few stores in uh, in Stony, especially like Scott Hale store, and uh, we have the Northern. But uh, other than that, it's good to live there. Yeah. So I want to thank you so much, so much for sitting down with me, Mayor Powder, and just talking about your community and talking about your duty to serve. So thank you so much. Yeah. But just uh, one more question is that you know I I really want to continue fighting for Stony Rapids and get the things that uh, we've been fighting for for a long time and hopefully that, you know, the government can hear us and see where we're going to go from there. Thank you very much. We want to thank the Saskatchewan Urban Municipality Association for inviting us to this year's SUMA convention in Regina, Saskatchewan. This episode would not have been achievable without their support. Now, if today's episode sparked your interest, hit that subscribe button now. Stay in the loop with all our diverse content covering everything from municipal affairs to our in-depth conversations on the cross-border interviews or our eye-opening exploration of local governance in the political trenches, local government at work. We are your go-to source for comprehensive municipal coverage committed to keeping you well-informed as well as engaged. But your support is the backbone of our growth and the maintenance of the top-notch content you have come to enjoy. If you can, consider backing the show. Every contribution, big or small, goes a long way in amplifying the depth and the breadth of our programming. Find the support page link on the Cross Border Interviews website today. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, but as always, just keep talking.